Hello and welcome back to a brand new vlog. My name is Orion and I make videos every single Wednesday and Sunday and I post them at 6 p.m. And we have returned to the garage where in the last video we built ourselves a stud wall and today I need to actually empty this out because I did say in the last vlog I was going to do that and I never ended up doing it because I didn't need the space. But today we are going to be putting battens across all of the walls or as many as I can do today. Uh, and putting up some DPM, which is damp proof membrane against the wall as well to stop damp getting in. Uh, and I need access to every single wall in this room. So somehow I need to find a new home for this stuff. And I'm thinking that this morning uh, we knock this down because it's kind of not really held in place. And that gives us a bit more open space in this area to store things. Because as you can see, it's starting to get a bit cluttered and messy and stuff like that. So. Let's tidy up. I think with the new acquired space, uh, we can actually start organizing some of the stuff that I've got here. And it will make it a little bit easier for uh, for building in here. However, a lot of this stuff, like the camping gear that we don't use very often, can go up into the attic. My only regret with actually building this attic is that I didn't make the, uh, the hole large enough to get up here. I could have cut this beam out and made the hole a little wider, which would have been a good idea, but as this isn't mine, I didn't really want to tamper with this stuff. And I guess we actually acquired a lot more floor space because of that as well. So got more room to actually put things. Speaking of which, you might not think it, but without this massive wall here, it feels way more spacious. I think I realistically need to go through all of this like scrap wood and decide what we actually need to keep and what we can get rid of and burn because it's just taking up like so much room. That is much better. All right, with the scrap wood taken care of and a bit more room in here required, I can start finding a place for the bike to go as well as my old desk. Problem solved. I think now that we basically have a blank canvas in here, I'm going to start bringing in all of the CLS that I'm going to be using to build onto the wall with the battens. Because one thing occurred to me when I built this stud wall, and that is that all the insulation and plasterboard currently lives there, and trying to get it from there into here, I'm not sure if I'm gonna be able to fit it kind of this way through the door because I've built a wall. In a very worst situation, I can actually just take this middle noggin out here and I can just bring it straight through into the room. But I'm gonna, when I build the bands against this wall, I'm gonna kind of off center them. Uh, so it won't be directly lined up. It'll kind of fill the gaps like so. Um, so I, I just need to keep that in mind when I start building this. I don't want to build all of my like walls up and then have no way of getting stuff in. Anyway, with us basically ready to go, I think I'm going to start with the back wall first. What I plan to do is build it on the floor and then lift it up into place. And then once I've got it upright, I can square the room up. The reason I'm doing it that way is because the DPM that I have, I want it to be against the wall. There's gonna be like a very small gap between the, the breeze block and the DPM. So there'll be kind of like airflow behind it. But uh, if I obviously build it against the wall, I can't put the, the sheet up on the wood. It, it'll be too much of a pain in the ass. Uh, so that's the plan. I'm gonna split the wall in half and then go from there. And I think the best way to measure it is because I'm going to have a base plate and the top plate is to stack the wood, measure from the top of that to the top of there, and that should give me the right length for my uprights. So using the Meyer saw, we need to make three cuts of 2705. And then four cuts of 151 to split the room in half. And I'm hoping that it's pretty much spot on. Now it's just a case of laying it all on the floor, screwing it together, ready to put the DPM on. Right, now that I've got two of the stud walls built, ready to go on the wall, all I need to do now is decide where I'm gonna put my noggins. Cause basically inside of that, I'm gonna be putting some insulation, which I have pre-bought here. And the idea is to do this to minimize the amount of times I'm gonna to have to cut those boards. Now that we have got some noggins screwed in, I actually need to run some damp proof course on the base pipe. I don't actually think doing this is all that necessary, but it protects the wood and why not? Now we need to roll that out and put it across here. I've not actually done any of this before, but how hard can it be? What I think I'm gonna do is lay it out across the bands like this, and then underneath the DPC, I'm actually gonna overlap it like that and then staple it all in. And that way, we should be good. And it turns out this is as easy as I'd hoped it to be. It even comes with a sticky tape as well, so you can overlap it and stick it straight on. All right, we've only done one, and it's going to take probably three or four on two different walls. So 
Let's roll a time lapse and crack on. we have got two completed walls. However, they're just kind of propped up right now, as you can see by that wood that I've screwed in. If you're doing this on your own, the reason I've split the walls like this is so I can actually lift them into place. Now, what you would do is what you can see here is I've just taken a piece of uh, scrap wood and I've screwed it in there. So this kind of moves around as, a, as an anchor and then I can put it to the floor and then the, it won't fall on me. That way, when you're lifting it by yourself, you've got something to prop it up. But right. Now that the wall's up, I do need to bolt it into the floor, but before I do that, I probably want to do another wall to square it up. Otherwise, if you were looking from above, I'll end up with like a back wall that's like that, rather than, you know, like that. And despite this wall being a lot larger, I'm going to take a little bit of a risk and I'm going to do it all in one batten and lift it all up. This really wasn't heavy at all so i don't think i'm gonna have too much trouble with this with two of us with that in mind i have my uprise all cut my base plate all done i just need to actually clear the floor so i can build it <laughs> i'll be honest this feels rather ambitious but the problem i have is if i break the wall down into sections i actually run out of wood because as you can see by this bit here it doubles up in thickness in the center because it's obviously two separate walls are propped up together however i'm willing to risk it i think I think I can do this. So, a buzzing with confidence, let's get this done. A long time later, we have now got another wall. However, as I took a quick break afterwards, I realized at the very end that I have made a mistake. What I've done is I have spaced them conveniently so when I cut my insulation, it's less cutting. However, I was meant to space them to accommodate the plasterboard that I'd be putting on afterwards. So ordinarily, you'd want either 400 or 600 mil because the plasterboard that I'm gonna be putting against this wall is actually 120, which is there. And you'll notice that there is no upright here. So when it comes to plasterboarding the wall, if I lay a piece of plasterboard against it, it will come to like here. So there'll be a, a gap in the middle and there's nothing to screw it into. So that means I am gonna have to most likely cut a lot of plasterboard to get it to fit onto these walls, or I could add in more uprights and it'd just be a mess. Fortunately, I have recognized this problem after only doing, two, I say only, after doing two of the walls. So I guess I've made life a little difficult for myself and I'm gonna have to cut the plasterboard a little shorter to accommodate how I've done these, these two walls. And then when it comes to doing the other one, I'll just have to space it correctly. So it's gonna be all weird. but you live and you learn. Either way, I am happy with how this has actually turned out. Despite the mistake with the spacing, it actually looks so much nicer in here, even just with the DPM on the wall and the, and the stud work up and the new flooring as well. Like once it's finished, this is gonna be really nice. But in order to learn from your mistakes, you have to make a mistake. So that's gonna be uh, saved for another vlog. As it is currently uh, 10 past five, the day before the vlog's actually going out. I am kind of playing catch up a little bit uh, and that's why I'm probably why I'm making mistakes because I'm like rushing, trying to get things done as fast as possible because obviously I'm trying to film it and then that takes a time and then I, I want to post the vlog. <sighs> It's a headache. Christ, I've not even shown you Benjamin's play area. Whilst I was cracking on the garage, my mum actually put all of this together in this space. It needs a little bit of TLC, but Benjamin can play on that while I'm here now. Anyways, guys, that's going to do it for today. In the next vlog, I'm probably going to have to fix the mistakes I've made. 
Uh, or I might save that till a little bit later on when we're doing that, when we actually fit the plasterboard to it and do the insulation and stuff like that. I'm not entirely sure yet, but we do need to get the other walls done. So that'll be the next vlog. Hopefully I can get that all filmed and ready for you guys on Wednesday. It is worth mentioning, as I said before, like I'm a little behind and trying to play catch up. I've also been going to the dentist. There is going to be a vlog talking about, I'm not going to make an entire vlog about talking about my teeth, but it is a massive source of anxiety for me and I, I do want to address it and I'm currently pulling my finger out and I am going to therapy and getting my teeth sorted and I'm doing a lot of stuff like self-care stuff and I want to make a video about that in the future but because of going to the dentist and how much work I have to have done my, my the side of my face hurts uh, and it writes me off uh, a little bit after I've been because of because of the extent of it, I'm sure everyone who goes to the dentist can understand what that's like. But alas, that is a story for another day. Progress has been made and it is time for me to say goodbye. So thank you so much for watching. If you did enjoy it, please leave it a thumbs up, Ray, and I would appreciate that. If you are new to my channel, hit subscribe. If I can do it, you can do it too. Just don't make the same pissing mistakes I make. I guess that's another benefit. You, you get to learn from my mistakes as well. But yeah, thank you so much for watching. Peace, peace. Much love. Bye-bye. <laughs>